Hey guys, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Unlimited, as this is the weekly wrap-up. This is all the news that didn't get out on YouTube that we put out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We bring it to you guys just in case you missed it. So let's get started. First off, the WWE may be close to signing former WWE Women's and Divas Champion Melina. With the WWE doing a brand split and needing more talent to fill a women's division on both Raw and SmackDown, I am hearing that Melina has been approached by the WWE to return and that she is interested and very close to signing a deal. Now, I got I to gotta tell you guys one thing. Melina doesn't quite look like Melina anymore. If you remember, Melina had the long black hair that flowed and looked amazing on her. Well, now she's chopped it off a little above the shoulders and she's dyed it blonde. I don't know if she's going to try to get her old Melina look back if she does return to the WWE or she'll show up with her short blonde hair. Next up, the WWE Thursday released Tough Enough competitor ZZ Lupe. According to Pro Wrestling Sheets, Thursday morning, WWE announced that ZZ had been released from his WWE developmental contract, but a reason really wasn't given on why ZZ was released. If you watched WWE Breaking Ground, you saw that he wasn't, even if you watched Tough Enough too, he wasn't that coachable. A lot of times the coaches and the the trainers would try to tell him to do things, and he just wasn't getting it. He wasn't comprehending it the way others were. ZZ did make one appearance. He had one match at a live event against Oni Lorcan and actually won that match. So, like I said, not much is known on why ZZ was released, but I think you can ultimately think about it and figure out for yourselves why ZZ was released. Next up. Lucha Underground has announced the premiere date for Season 3. Lucha Underground announced this week that they will be returning to the El Rey Network for Season 3 on September 7th. This will be the largest, the longest season of Lucha Underground to date as they have 40 episodes, which will bring them all the way till June of next year. Lucha Underground is said to remain Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. on El Rey Network. And, you know, many were shocked that they were coming back as early as they were. A lot of people thought Lucha Underground Season 3 wasn't going to come till late 2016, more, more close to early 2017. And finally, we would like to say congratulations to Rusev and Lana, who got married Friday in Malibu. Rusev and Lana, they had the wedding taped for Total Divas. The whole Total Divas cast was said to be there for the festivities, for the wedding. But we don't know when this wedding episode will air for Total Divas. It is also being said that the two are going to have a second wedding in Bulgaria for all of Rusev's friends and family to attend. So again, congratulations to Rusev and Lana on the wedding. We wish you guys many, many, many great years as a married couple. But that's going to do it, guys, this week for Pro Wrestling Unlimited's weekly wrap-up. Remember, if you want to see these stories before the weekly update, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Remember, guys, comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook and subscribe here on YouTube.